I had a couple of thoughts for you today about life and death. Um, first, I thought I'd tell you a story. I don't believe I've told you before. Uh, it's about a vision I had, or like a dream, not too long ago. Um, I dreamt that a person that I know, uh, I had a vision of them in their higher self, one of their higher selves, as a being of light, but still somehow very recognizable as the same person as this person that I knew, this acquaintance that I had in physical form. And uh, so they were in a place that didn't have like uh, physical boundaries like this. And they were talking to Archangel Michael. And uh, I gathered from the tenor of the conversation that they had this was work that they had been doing together for a long time. And so Archangel Michael was the one who was explaining work that this other person needed to do. And uh, what he asked is that he take a group of five souls that had been here on earth and uh, causing some trouble here on earth <laughs> and, um, and who were not of you well, not of light oriented uh, lineage. And, um, and so these souls couldn't descend with us. They needed to continue their exploration of their um, of their true nature someplace else. So what Archangel Michael asked this person, this being of light person that I knew so well, uh, to do was to take these, shepherd these souls across the sea of the cosmos to another constellation someplace else where they could continue their evolution. And I actually saw them, him gather up those souls and reassure them. And I could hear them happily um, feeling together about a new adventure, you know. And he took them and he, 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 he the last I saw, he took them off far and, and they disappeared from my view. And I got to thinking that, that maybe, um, maybe groups of souls are like that. And it, maybe they get to go here or there. There are a lot of options after, after all is said and done. So that's the first story. And I continue to think about it because it was such a marvelous experience for me uh, to know of the grand work that this person was doing in, in his higher self. It was just incredible. And uh, the second thing I'd like to talk about is last night. Last night, I was sitting up with a friend who was very, very ill, and I was very concerned about him. And um, I, I wasn't physically there, but I, I knew I could feel his, his trouble, his physical trouble. I could feel his emotional trouble, his, the feelings of his emotional body, and I could and I was just sitting up holding my own energy because when all is said and done, it depends on the divine what happens to people, you know? And the divine knows best. So while I was sitting uh, late into the night, I had another vision, and this time it was of souls rising up that night in a little flock, a little flock of souls, all that, that passed on the same night, and that were going together to some new destiny here on earth, you know, but it's like flocks of birds, how we come and go. We, we come in as a, a small flock of, of similar souls and can go out in the same way to, to similar uh, post-incarnational experiences. And it was kind of cool, it was kind of touching for me to think about that, how, how souls don't pass, they think that they're People think that they're passing from their physical bodies all alone, but it's not like that at all. Not only are they passing with another, other souls in, the, in, the, in their own group, but also there are, there are 
guiding lights and beings and ascended masters and all kinds of help all around them, helping them to get to the place where they need to be, you know. And I have a feeling that when souls leave the body, just as they're leaving the body, they, they remember and they say, oh, that again, you know. Oh, that experience again, and here I am again in the disincarnate state. Just that moment of, of total awareness of, of all the past times, you know. <laughs> so, that's all I have for you today. And I wish you the very best. All love and all light and all joy. I'll talk to you later on.